Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Obey, who say, what's up, records? Land Productions, back at you with another one. Tutorial video time. You already know. This is for my man, David Potty, in the KBR form. So, this is it. You want to get a click track, right? So, how you want to go about it? You see, I got my tempo set up already. Just going crazy right here. This for to make you understand it with ease. So, what you want to do, first you want to do, Go watch all my videos, right? Because the sound and shit fucked up on them videos, right? So, but don't worry about that, man, because I show a lot of good things in there. And you're going to see my navigation that's going to make you navigate easy. So, what you're going to do, you're going to go get a uh, VFTI plugin or rewire device. So, I'm going to load up a rewire device. I'm going to load up. Choose a device, so once you load rewire device plugin, right? And I'm gonna go to where you will be more familiar with it. If you if you come in and traction is off the break. I think I don't know if it's pop up tree or pop up menu first, but I think pop up menu is what's already selected. So I'm gonna go to the pop up menu and show it to you. Traction plugins. It will be under here and it will say rewire device right here. You will click on this. This will be any software that can rewire to another software. It's a bunch of software that do it, like a lot of dogs do it, and most of them you can get them for free, at least for demo. And if you only need a click track, I'm telling you, you can just go download any demo. Uh, Reason Demo, FL Studio, Ableton Live, which I know you probably own at least one of these dogs. Just own any other dog that can rewire, and it will show up in your rewire list. All right? So... You have the rewire plugin, and then you will go ahead and choose device. You see it say, this is my 32-bit traction, so it don't show my Reason 8. It only show my Reason Limited and Reason Essential, which is Reason Limited don't go to 64-bit. So you have Reason Essential, Melodyne, FL Studio. This is the input for the RCO for all rewire, and this is Ableton Live Lite. No, this is not Lite. It's Ableton Live. I mean, I'm sorry. And even one of these can come up. So I can pull them in. So what we gonna do right now, we're just gonna load the reason essential. So we're gonna launch the editor. And it's gonna uh load up reason. Oh, I'm sorry. Reason was still loaded. Already had reason loaded, so it was still loaded, so I had to do this again. I probably I'm gonna just replace this plugin with it again so it know it. Sometimes it won't work like once it's already showing the settings. So we're gonna go launch it again. All right, so it's launching. Okay, so we got reason essentials loaded. So now we have reason loaded inside of the traction. So we have reason inside the traction right here. So what you would do, you just go right here, click on click track on and off right here, cut it on. That's how you would do it with the reason, okay? So you have the reason. Uh, you got reason loaded. So we move that out the way. Then that is a rewire device. So we will go to a plugin. So like the MPC plugin. Uh, a lot of plugins have it that really can't come to my mind right now. I don't know why, but what's it? Is it the other drum software that everybody be using with the machine? Yeah, that software got the click track in it. Uh, let me see what else software, what else plugin. I mean, I'm saying software, but plugins. So, any drum plugin like uh, Spray a Drummer, things like that, all of them got it. I think Reactor for sure got it. So, all of them type of things got it. So, you can go get any of them plugins that have a built-in click track. So we're gonna go use the MPC software. Because they have a click track. And I'm just going to show you with these two softwares real quick. And so you can understand. We're just loading the plugin. And then you have to do nothing else. All you have to do is just keep 
the track on and it will come out in your master fader with the click track so we have the npc and then we will just go right here you will go to metronome and you will go to enable in play see it's enabled in play right so so now you will see now you will get understanding what i'm saying once i close this and if i press play and i press play when it go past the different tempo changes my click track will change with it now here you go Okay, so you got a quick understanding. That's it. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's not no more work. The hardest part is just pulling this plug in down and make it happen. Now, if you have to press a button or even go down here to press loop or click or any of that, click track, any of that, is to me, is equal to the same thing to just pull the plug in up and just select click. Even though we know it's more steps, but I'm saying in the process of knowing what you want to achieve and you saying you know that's what you want, this is worth it. So... You do the same thing with the rewind device. We're going to mute this track and we're going to press play and click track on. We're going to get the same result. Alright, to me, uh, Reason, MPC, well, in this order, Reason, FL Studio, and MPC has the best click track to me. I mean, other people can feel different, but to me, they had the best click track. I like their click track better because the Reason one, it's not really hitting on the straight on the one. It's like it's a little off, and it gives you a groove in making your music. When you're making your music, it gives you a little more of a groove than the other click, than other, any other click track to me. So that's the difference why I like Reason. The MPC software is straightforward to me. It go, it goes straight. It's always perfect. It's right. It's just perfect. It's always just on point exactly. So you, it'd be hard for you to miss things, but. The MPC, we were here, right? And now you hear how it go different now. Let's listen to the reason why. All right. So, like I'm saying, to me, the the MPC sounds clear for like the make a beat like, but something about the reason one it's like it's ah it's a little off it's like it's it got a pull swing on it to me like it got a it's got a pull swing on it and that's what it's doing to me so I like that it feel like it's pulling me back so it's easier to make breaks think up your breaks with the reason software to me like in some kind of way like it follow you in that pocket where you can find like where a break a fit other than the mpc it's it's straightforward it's gonna be right there on point it's never gonna miss an on point moment you know what i'm saying the fl studio gonna do the same thing i like the sound that they chose already they hi-hat sound and they they three click tracks that they got that you can pick between i like them already they they got picked some of the best ones that was off the break that you can pick and you don't got to change nothing you got to do nothing. So thank you for watching the video. I hope whoever got to watch this, they get what they're looking for out of it. And I hope you got the best out of this, my man Dave over at uh, KBR. So I'm just uh, showing you how you can do this in no time. Thanks for watching. Peace.